A very disturbing investigation this morning in Pennsylvania after 12 Amish girls were found at a home outside of Philadelphia. They were likely living in the basement of this house in Feasterville. They range from 18 years old to just six months. The homeowner, Lee Kaplan, is facing multiple charges, including statutory sexual assault. DeMarco Morgan is in Feasterville with how other people may have been involved. DeMarco, good morning. Good morning. The 12 girls were discovered in this house right here behind me after a neighbor filed a child abuse tip. Investigators believe the parents of the oldest girl gave her to Kaplan when she was just 14. And now they are calling on Amish experts to help them interview the children. The secluded White House is where 51-year-old Lee Kaplan allegedly kept 12 Amish girls. I have three kids. And it's just so upsetting to know that there were so many girls. We've seen them. They watch us while our kids play in the backyard. The oldest of the girls is 18. Police believe her parents, Daniel and Sevilla Stoltzfitz, gave her to Kaplan when she was 14 in exchange for help with their family's financial troubles. The woman now has two daughters, a six-month-old and a three-year-old. Kaplan is believed to be the father. According to our CBS station, KYW, Kaplan himself isn't Amish. Authorities arrested him Thursday after neighbor Jen Betts called child services. You notice these little children, these little girls, only little girls, and they'd be outside very sporadically, very rarely you'd see one or two. When investigators combed the Bucks County property over the weekend, they found air mattresses, instruments, tricycles, Legos, and a pricey train set in the basement. It's hard to even explain. Robert Hoops is Lower Southampton Township's public safety director. I guess they were homeschooling the kids because there was some homework found down there. The identities of the nine other girls are still unclear. Investigators haven't located their birth certificates. It's unknown if they were subjected to sexual abuse. Until we can get to the bottom of really how they were living, have an opportunity to speak with them to make sure they weren't abused, we really don't know. Police say when they discovered the children, they appeared to be in good condition. They are now in the custody of child services. As for Kaplan and the parents, they are in jail with $1 million bail each. Now, the charges that the parents are facing are statutory sexual assault, child endangerment charges, and criminal conspiracy charges. Gail? Sixth story on many levels. Thank you, DeMarco.